In the invasion known as the Bay of Pigs, the goal of the U.S. was to assassinate the new leader of Cuba. You see, Fidel Castro used military force to get rid of the nation's American-backed president, Batista. The U.S. decided to retaliate. It ended in disaster. A tank? Oh my gosh, it's Castro! Now that I'm in power, America will have no influence on us. We will work together with the Soviet Union. Yay! Oh, and the people who like America, be gone. Just in case you didn't no, notice, these people are being away. exiled. Meanwhile, back in America... And the winner of the 1960 presidential election, Joe Now that you're president, sir, we need to do something about Cuba. What about that thing Eisenhower discussed with us? What was that called? Something about pigs? We would attack Cuba by landing on the Bay of Pigs. We are turning the exiles right now. First, we need to destroy Castro's tiny air force. With our planes painted to look like Cuban planes, which look like this, they won't suspect a thing until we blow them up. America, the CIA? I don't see any planes. I think they moved. Drats, how'd they know we were coming? What should we do, Kennedy? We have to stop the invasion! But it was too late to apply the brakes. Almost immediately, the invasion went downhill fast. What the? Is that a radio station? Oh my gosh. Sure enough, the CIA's surveillance team failed to spot a radio station on the beach that was broadcasting everything. Watch out for that coral! Unexpected coral reefs sank some of the ships as they were pulled to shore. Where's our backup? Paratroopers were supposed to land on the Bay of Pigs, but landed on the wrong beach. Whoa, whoa, look out! Uh, I think we're in the wrong place. Many of the Cuban exiles were captured or killed in the Bay of Pigs invasion. As much as Kennedy didn't want to abandon Cuba to the communists, he didn't want to start World War III. After another attempt at Castro's assassination, the Cuban Missile Crisis began. 